with this poor boy long rifle would have been a flintlock. Usually they were around anywhere from 36 caliber up to about 40 caliber. But the reason it's called a poor boy is not one of these rifles that had all the silver inlay and everything on it. It wasn't fancy, that's why they called it a poor boy. It took a long time to load this rifle. First, gunpowder was poured down the barrel. Then a round bullet was placed on a piece of cloth and pushed into the barrel with a rod. A flint made of rock was inserted into the rifle's hammer, which when pulled made a spark and then ignited the gunpowder. All of the force ejected the bullet from the rifle. A long hunter or settler would typically be seen with two things around his neck a bag and a powder horn. The bag is what they kept all their things needed when they fired the rifle. They would keep their ball in there, they would keep extra flint, they would keep their patches and everything in this bag. The long hunters and settlers put their gunpowder in powder horns that were made out of cow or buffalo horns. They were hollowed out and stoppers were attached at each end. The compass was a must-have item during this time. In addition to showing directions, compasses had a marker that served as a sundial, letting them know the approximate time of day. They didn't have big lighters back then. But they didn't even have matches, so they had to have a way to make fire because the fire was very, very important to them. The striker is actually just a piece of metal, and then you had a flint. And when you hit this flint along this piece of metal, it would make a spark. And every long hunter had at least one knife. They would have to use a knife for everything. They would have to use it to skin their uh, animals they had shot. They have to use it to uh, splinter off pieces of wood to start a fire. Knives were also used as currency, especially with the Native Americans. 